What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide from Aspilicueta is the main man here from the Chelsea pack I should say lads and Aspilicueta is one of these players that again you look at his base stats here and you're thinking yeah he's just an average kind of right back he's just an average player you know he's got early crosser here which is good for a full back yeah that's brilliant but he also has sliding tackle and man marking and one touch pass and aerial superiority he's not the tallest but he's also really good in the air he's really good on the ground he kind of reminds me of a better version of Mark Bartra. Bartra was one of these guys that was a hidden gem way back in eFootball 22. And I think it follows on to this type of player. I mean, Konami seem to love these type of defensive fullbacks that are really classy but not overly fast. They just seem to have that extra space on the ball and extra space on the pitch when you're coming up against a really heavy press. So if you like to play a bit of possession, if you like to play a little bit of, um, you know, out wide style, samba style football with a bit of flair... I definitely think, and ha think having good ball playing uh, defensive players is really good. I mean, you can have a destroyer that is just not going to be able to be good on the ball and is a little bit just kind of hoof it the minute you see the, uh, an opposition coming, just boot it. But you also can build out from the back and it does confuse opponents. So if you are trying to learn the mechanics of the game as a newcomer, it is, it is good. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to get caught in possession. But when you do nail it, you will be able to actually play out from the back quite well, right? So we're going to take a look at two different versions of Aspilicueta here, right? Now, the big thing with these ones is Chelsea are actually struggling, obviously, in the Premier League at the moment. So it is going to be difficult to have them on good form, right? You are taking a bit of a risk on it, even though Aspilicueta does have unwavering form. Um, I do think that he is definitely worth a pop if you spin him. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to spin any of these Chelsea players if you've got a fairly decent squad. But if you're a newcomer or you've got like an early kind of set base squad, I definitely think that these Chelsea players are, are some of the best that they've released. Apart from the, the Madrid pack that was there as well, which you could have filled with a lot of starters. Um, if you do get these in your free spin, you're obviously going to get one of the players in your free spin. I do think that it's, it's probably worth a punt, right? Especially if you get any of the top four guys, right? So this Aspilicueta is going to be your traditional right back um, or left back, depending on which way you want to play him, right? Because he's got early cross, we are going to try and give him a player skill of pinpoint crossing. And we also are probably trying to go to give him maybe something like double touch um, or something like that. You know, maybe weighted pass, maybe low lofted pass, something like that, because we want him to be a bit more of a, a kind of a playmaker from the wings, switching wings. As I said, lads, he's not going to suit every play style. If you have somebody like Kunde or Wambasaka or a special, you know, uh, Cafu or Carlos or anybody like that that's going to be pace, you are going to be able to get, you know, on top of most uh, wingers because the defenders have a huge advantage. You know, the likes of Cancelo, the likes of um, Kimmich, you know, Kyle Walker, any of those, Trent, Robertson, any of those guys are going to be dominant, right? But if you're looking for a little something different, you know, this guy's stats are really good. You know, you've got 15 into lower body, which gives him 94 stamina, 90 speed, 80 acceleration, 81 balance, 90 aggression. And the rest of his play, play on the ball stats are really good. But I think the ultimate version of him is as usual with this. We had Tommy Yasu a couple of weeks ago with the big time, right? The big time version of Tommy Yasu, who was down as a right back or a left back um, as a full back. And I do think that his best position is as a centre-back, a third centre-back or else, you know, part of a back five as a wing-back type player that can, you know, get in and help when he's needed and good under the ball, under the high ball. So I do think with Espilicueta, when we're going to max out his defending with 16 points into that, you're going to have a 98 aggression, 92 awareness, 95 tackling and 95 defensive engagement. But you also have, ideally, uh, you are going to want to have this the speed up around that. And we have the, you know, the perfect acceleration at 80 with the stamina at 84 and the speed at 80 as well. And then the tight possession and the rest of his stats. A little lacking with the heading ability. He does have aerial superiority, which does cover up a couple of those gaps. So depending on how you like to play, right, if you are getting, you know, coming up against the likes of Haaland. Look, being honest with you, lads, most players don't use in the air um like attacks they don't pump it up long to a, an aerial threat they usually keep it on the ground so if you are learning the game mechanics from the very first time or you're learning what works and what to stop it is 90 percent that you're going to come up against quick counter you know fast intricate one touch passing and if you're able to get around your head around that and be able to position your players in 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 where they need to be to stop those blocks um or to stop those passing lanes you will you know you will be able to beat more players you know, usually more often than not. I don't know why I'm not even able to speak this morning, lads. But anyway, so that's uh, Aspilicueta, lads. I definitely think he's a good player uh, as a CB. 
you know, you, pl you spot him into a CB there and he will do a job for you. So let me know what you think if you've spun for him. I would actually love to get him and train him up and see what, he like, see what he's like in my squad. But until next time, lads, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.